Hello, D3 scene. It's just going to be a little tutorial on how to run a Minecraft server. If you don't know what Minecraft is, I better show you. Note this is all a live commentary, so I might not have the information right on demand because I'm not here. So here's what Minecraft is. So it's basically you can build blocks and stuff, and it's a small little indie game. It's pretty fun. Well, it's more to do if you need to waste some time. So what you're gonna do is there's multiple things you can use to run a multiplayer server. So first off, I'm just gonna show you show you what I mean. Just gonna pause this and wait for it to download. Okay, download. So basically, you can do single player and you can do multiplayer. If you want to play on somebody's server, you click here and you can enter in the IP of the server or web address. So me and my brother we usually play together on the server. So I set host the server. You can also host the server for other people to join or whatever. So basically, there's multiple server servers you can use, but I use one called the Aheo server mod. So, you just search Hayo, or I'll probably provide a link, and then you'll get to a page that looks like this. One sec. Okay, so sorry about that. From here, you're going to go to Downloads, and you're going to go to Latest Build. So, you're just going to hit that, wait for Download to pop up. You're going to open it so in a zip file. Okay, now I'm just going to create a new folder. So if it's a little slow, it's because of the recording. Okay. So we're going to open this up. Let's take the contents of it, drag it into that folder. I'll pause it again while it copies over since it's really slow right now. Okay, so now it's copied over. I can just close that file that I just copied over. Okay, so here it is. There's a readme and version and all that. But we can just go into this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna run this. The server underscore no GUI. Just wait for that. It won't find this at the first run, the Minecraft server dot jar, because it's not in the file contents, and it's preparing your spawn area, which is your world. So when you want to go into it, you have to wait for this to hit hundred percent. So basically, it's going to make all these files from what you had, like, a few files, now you have way more. So then you can just exit this, because we're going to edit some stuff in. You can't edit properties and such. Well, it's running. Only some of the problems. So level name. If you already have a level, like a world, you can just change the name to what that world is and put it in this folder. Or, it creates a world, as you can see right here which has it already too. So here you put in plugins if you have any plugins which you can install from let's go back to the you can install these from Hale's form. If you go into plugin releases you can find tons of plugins. A lot of them are quite useful especially the cuboid command. So report, that support it used, this port should be open already, if it's not, you can open it, I might, sh might show that in the further tutorial. Here you can put in your IP that you're using, or you can just leave it blank and it'll just find it out itself, which is what I do. Now right now, Notch, the maker of this game, has just implanted health. And actually, the health and everything, and it's pretty buggy still, the multiplayer thing. So I'd set this to false for now. Because this really just will mess up your server a lot. You can also turn on Hell World in your place, which if you do some Googling, you'll find out what it is. So you can just save this. And then you might want to go to Groups. You can edit what commands certain groups can do. So admins can basically do mods, commands, and their 
at a two status so they're unrestricted as it says up there and these are all the commands that a mod can do and they get v the VIP's commands too which are the default commands that the VIP gets so basically you can carry on those commands from the level down now there's also a users which is where I guess some examples how to make it so my name would be foghead okay here I'll show you the configuration from my real server so here's cuboid iChat there's logs plugins as you can see there's tons of plugins you go down users that's my brother's username so there it is if you want to be an admin you do a colon then you say admins with an s and n colon two so you're unrestricted and the color thing doesn't really work right but you can customize colors with the plugin i chat it's right there okay so we'll go back to this folder so after you customize who gets what and everything you can go up to other properties that you can find in here like kids you can make a kit so I'll go back to this other one I have a kit made I think it's called tools yes it's called tools and you put an item number you get the item number from going to this it gives you the number volume so let's say you want a kit that gives you dirt well, if you do dirt it is, it's called number three so that's what you would put in there put a three and that's about it then once you got that you can install plugins or whatever you want to do and you just run the server and to join it you'll just want to go into minecraft this might be a little slow now to have the server recording and this going and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit the multiplayer button once this comes up I'll show you and then you're going to type in, if you're connecting to your own thing, you'll type in your internal IP. Which you can find out. I'll show you in a sec. So what you're going to want to do. Hit multiplayer. And that should be your code. For me, since I have multiple wireless things, it's 1-1. One, one. Basically, you can find that out by going to CMD. Command prompt. Let's exit this so it's not so slow. And then you're going to type in IP config. Then you're going to scroll up and you're going to take this IP, the IPv4 address, not default gateway, the IPv4 address. So anyone connecting on your network to your thing will enter this one. Now I haven't tried this yet, but I'm pretty sure if you want somebody else to connect, you can actually get you can go on get services that will have a domain name for that IP or they'll be able to connect with this IP so you just go to what's my IP dot org and you take this IP address which is blurred because you don't want people getting a hold of this that's why you usually get it hosted by some place so that's about it might not have been the best tutorial, but it's live and non-rehearsed at all. Thanks for watching.